KLZ men, howdy. It's real close to Christmas, um, and I wanted to just take a few minutes to just say hi to you before Christmas. Just really tell you guys how much we love you guys and the things that you're doing for the boys. We watched a lot of the uh, Facebook stuff on uh, giving back for December and what you did with the boys and just some incredible works, just loving on people in your community. And um, wow, it was super powerful to see you guys loving on people and to teach those boys how important it is to give back and just the heart of that was beautiful, just beautiful. I'm super proud of you guys and what you're doing. Um, a couple of things. It's Christmas time, and I know we get really busy at Christmas time, and I know you hear this. You, you probably heard this at church. If you listen to podcasts, it's on your podcast. But really, brothers, don't let Christmas go by and New Year's go by. The one time you can really make margin and not spend it with your family doing those things that matter. Uh, it, it'll go by so quick. Man, my kids were teeny tiny little kids and now they're 24, 34, 20. It happens so quick. And if you got older kids, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so slow down, breathe, lay in bed, have your kids crawl in bed, eat cookies, drink hot cocoa, whatever it is to have fun, but just create some margin so you can make this Christmas time important with your family. Um, don't neglect your wife. Um, when they say they don't want anything for Christmas or whatever, that is not true. You go get them. If they want just one thing, you go get them two or three things. Okay. Uh, you know, that's truth. If you don't know that I'm telling you, um, the other thing is, uh, I've been reading through Matthew over the last couple of weeks, and I got into Matthew 18, and just really, he's talking about the kids and how Jesus loved on the kids, and I just so was drawn to Matthew 18, where um, Jesus is uh, calls the kids in to be around him, and he starts talking about how the shepherd if the shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them gets away from him and he'll leave the 99 to go find the one. And it just so spoke to my heart how there's so many kids out there that are in the church youth program or in the sports programs or whatever. And, but there's, that's the 99. KOZ brothers, don't miss going and looking for the one. The one little boy who uh, has nothing going on with him. Uh, the, the, the kid at the baseball field that's by himself or just playing. I don't know where that kid is for you. Um, but over and over and over and over, God, even today, God introduced me to a one. And uh, brothers, we have this beautiful opportunity to go get the one. And he calls us to do that, to leave the 99 and go get the one. So just spend some time in Matthew 18. It is just incredibly beautiful. And it just so speaks to the heart of KOZ. Jesus just loved the kids. They were where he was, he used that example so often. They were a beautiful place where he just grounded out his apostles, his, his band of brothers. Um, so good. So good. Um, and the other thing is one of the things that we do, Rick and I do and, and staff at KOZ and some of my closest, um, buddies, uh, confidants here in the KOZ world headquarters, uh, is we pray and ask Jesus for a word, uh, for the new year. What is it you have for us for the new year, Lord? What is it? Is there a word? Is there something that you have for the new year that you want to speak uh, to us? And we're not talking, I'm not talking about corporately. I'm talking about like for me. Um, last year, he gave me radical reformation, radical reformation. 
and I know what it was. He was talking about my marriage, that I needed to step in, pour into uh, my marriage, and uh, and I and it required me to act. I had to find some places where Mrs. Graney and I could go and spend time. I had to. I said we did a marriage retreat, a marriage conference. There are certain things, and all that stuff is great, but none of it helps if you don't do it. So acting on the things that I learned through this year that God revealed to me in my heart this year to be a better husband was so good and so important. And I can't just, I don't leave it behind in 2018. I'm still going to step into those things. I so have, I have so much to work to do in that area. Um, but I've already, I'm talking to him. What is 2019? What do you have for 2019, Lord? What is the word? What is... What is it you have for me? And I would challenge you guys to spend some quiet time and just ask Jesus, is there a word? Is there something, Jesus, you want me to focus on in 2019? And uh, and we all do it. We're uh, here at headquarters and uh, Rick in Virginia, he email us or talk to us about it. But I'm going to put a link on here to Ransom Heart Ministries, John Eldridge and his team at Ransom Heart. There, there's a podcast they did last year that was really good. They've done several of them, but this one's really good. And it talks about specifically about praying for a word. And they talk through it and they do a better job of describing it. But I would challenge you to, uh, guys, as we go into the new year, as you launch into KOZ for the new years, as you launch into your personal walk with Jesus Christ in the new year, um, talk to him about that. Is there a word for us, Jesus? Do you have something for me? Um, it's beautiful, man. It is so good. Um, that's it. We, I'm going to have the video for January's curriculum coming out really soon uh, in the next couple of days. Um, it's on trapping. And, uh, and next year we start uh, a virtue. Every month is a different virtue. And you're going to teach on a virtue. And the one that goes with trapping will blow your mind. Go and look at the curriculum. It's up already. Uh, well, we'll talk about it in a couple of days. I just wanted to get, get your heads up as we go into the crazy end of the week and then into the Christmas time. Brothers, we love you guys, man. We love your wives. We love your families. We love your churches. We love what you're doing. You guys are doing, you guys are going out after the one and you're bringing them in. You're sending me the stories. Um, so keep doing what you're doing. You are doing God's work. Love you guys. Email me, talk to me, listen to this podcast. Listen to the podcast from Ransom Heart. All right. God bless. We love you. Regulators, mount up.